Hey guys, hello there. This is Claudia from the Bookkeeping Experts. Okay, I've been a bookkeeper for a long time, actually over 20 years, as I mentioned before. Um, I'm gonna share with you a little bit of my journey. How did I get here? Why did I decide to become an accountant or a bookkeeper? Um, well, I'm actually from Brazil, Sao Paulo, Brazil. I I moved to the United States in 1998 to attend college in Salt Lake City, Utah. There I met my husband and I went on to attend uh, University of Utah to, for my bachelor's in accounting. Now, why did I decide to study accounting? Well, at first it wasn't voluntary. <laughs> my husband is an entrepreneur. That's We actually met on a business class and, um, and he open our own business and he is a great business entrepreneur but he doesn't like numbers so I was the one in charge of that so um, but as I worked in bookkeeping I really enjoy uh, the fact that I you know I the more I understood the the, the financials the more I could help him grow the business so that was the key point so the key thing is just that my desire to help him understand the finances so that we could grow our business and from there we just grew and uh, became a pro advisor certified agent quickbooks is really uh, user friendly and a lot of business people do use quickbooks uh, for for their business now there are however a lot of errors or common mistakes, I should say, that entrepreneurs make when they are doing their bookkeeping. And of course, as a, book, as a bookkeeper, I know how to locate them, but as a business owner, it's a little more complicated. And of course, you're focused on growing your business. It's hard to, you know, spend time to try to understand the finances as well, but it, it is very important. Um, we're gonna be talking about the profit and loss and the five most common mistakes on the profit and loss. Uh, the profit and loss is, I should say, the single most important financial statement in in your uh, in QuickBooks Online or on, on your company's financials. And the reason why it tells the story of how your business is doing for the period, for the current period. Um, in the profit and loss, also known as income statement, you're going to have all the income and all the expenses for the current year. Uh, so this way you can verify, you know, am I making money or am I losing money or where are my customers coming from and uh, where is my money being spent the most? So and how can I increase my, uh, my production, my productivity, my sales um, and how can I cut costs? So that's a very important statement, financial, um, and that's the profit and loss income statement. Now, we're going to talk about five common errors. Uh, we're going to start today by talking about um, unapplied cash payment and how it happens. We're also going to be talking from now on, uh, we're going to be talking about other errors as well in the financial statement. Uh, such as uncategorized income, uh, negative amount on the income account, uh, except for the refunds <laughs> on the income account, or a neg negative am amount on the expense uh, on the expense uh, section. We're also going to talk about uncategorized expense, and also we're going to touch on too many accounts on the income account or expense account. So basically, chart of accounts, how to eliminate. Uh, bogus or repetitive information on your finance, financials. So talking about the financial statements, like I said, we have the profit, the, the most common statements and the ones that your CPA are going to ask. Uh, it's your profit and loss, your balance sheet, and your uh, general ledger. So those are the three most important ones, but of course you have your trial balance, the have other reports that can track your sales or what uh, what you owe or who owe you and things like that. But 
those are the three important statements that you actually bring to your CPA at the end of the year so that they can uh, file your taxes. It is also the most important statements for you to understand how your business is going. Okay, so let's talk about unapplied cash payment. What is an applied cash payment? <laughs> what is an applied cash payment, Claudia? I explained to you. Okay, so here I have a, a profit and loss. The way for us to get there, I'll show you. Okay, we're gonna go on the left hand side menu, click on reports, and then from there we're gonna go to the profit and loss. And here we're just gonna look at last month's uh, profit and loss to see what's the story. Okay, now, ooh, wow, I have an unapplied cash payment for $13.29.60. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, that's usually the, the reaction, right? So we don't want unapplied cash payment, and I'll explain to you what it is. Unapplied cash payment is any time you record a payment uh, for a customer where there is no invoice or the invoice is dated for after the payment is is made so basically what QuickBooks is telling you is that I don't there is no bill for this client or there's no invoice for this client so how can I apply this payment um, or the other one you have a different date so let's suppose you just created this invoice but you already received the payment in the past but you want to just to create the invoice so you can match so you create the invoice for today's date but actually the payment happen on the 1st of September and then you go and you match that transaction in banking for that 1st of September uh, deposit so voila it's gonna create an error so how do I fix how do I fix that okay right from the profit and loss you can click on unapplied cash payment it's gonna bring the transactions that have the error so I can actually click on the amount right on the amount 132960 right here and it's going to open up this this uh this uh this this part which is the the payment uh, now the one thing that i'm going to look at is the invoice date which is dated for today's date and the payment date which is dated for august 27th voila here's the mistake how do i fix it i actually will click on the invoice and go into the invoice i'm going to change the date this is supposed to be August 27th. Okay, so as soon as I save this, yes. Okay, so it's gonna ask you, do you wanna apply this amount to, to the existing invoice? Oh yes, absolutely. That's exactly what I wanna do. So I'm gonna X out of here and voila, it's fixed. So it's not that hard to fix a um, unapplied cash payment. The other situation is if you use um, if you use QuickBooks Online to get paid, um, and then instead of creating an invoice, you're gonna create a payment link to your client, send it to your client, and he's gonna pay on that. But there is no invoice. So same thing. It's gonna say, sorry, there's no invoice for this client. Who do you want this payment to be applied to? How you fix that? You create a sales receipt or an invoice in a payment and then apply that payment towards that. Make sure that the date is correct. So you wanna make sure that if you're creating an invoice and a payment, that that payment has to be for the date that the deposit was made on your bank or before, not after. Because if you do it for after, QuickBooks is simply going to tell you, wait a minute, you're telling me that you're receiving or you're receiving a payment for an invoice that was not created until two weeks later or a day later? No, you can't do that. <laughs> so the invoice has to come before. So just like in the QuickBooks, um, QuickBooks income uh, workflow, first you record the invoice. Then the payment that goes into undeposited funds, record the deposit and match it in banking. Four steps. So that was it for un oh, unapplied cash payment. So quite simple. If you have any questions, please write down below. If you like this video, hey, 
like our page like this video share with your friends <laughs> if you know anybody that could benefit from this knowledge please share with them and also subscribe to our channel we will be, be bringing videos, educational videos, tutorial videos on QuickBooks Online on a constant basis. If you want to be the first one to stay up to date to what's going on, please subscribe to our channel. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, keep on smiling. <laughs>